All right, guys, back again with another adventure. Today, I'm gonna to show you OpenVPN firewall rules so that when you log into your OpenVPN when you're away or other people do, they don't have access to everything on your network, only the devices that you wanna be able to access from away from home and nothing else. So, let's watch that intro. <laughs> All right, guys, so the first thing I just wanted to let you know, this is on network 7.5.176. So just wanted to let you know that's what network version I'm using of Unify, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is know, um, if you guys haven't created a, uh, an open VPN already, I'll have a link of it in the description of the video of step-by-steps how to create one, and then you can watch this video after for the firewall rules. But let's get into it. So the VPN server, we're gonna click the one we've already made. We're gonna to wanna to scroll down and we're gonna to wanna to see, it's gonna be auto automatically, turn it to manual. I just like it so I can just know that it's there. And it's a, a five, five network. So you know, every network we need to make sure what network the VPN is using. So it's using a five network. So now when we go to create our rules, we're gonna know that it's a five network. So we're gonna to go to profiles and we're gonna to go to IP groups. And now you're gonna create a new IP group and you're gonna follow the ones that I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna create this new IP group here and you're gonna follow the ones I've already created. So we're only gonna have to do two here. So before we do anything, we're gonna need an RFC 1918. This is what we're gonna to use to block the other VLANs and stuff like that. So you can call it RFC 1918, which I recommend. Um, if you guys haven't done uh, other um, Unify rules and firewalls for IoT networks, I'll have a link up here for that too in the description. So you guys can do that too. You've already have made this by then, but if you haven't made this, make this now. Follow it, copy it the same. It doesn't matter what IP ranges you're using, just copy this and you'll be good to go and add it. Next, we'll actually do the rule that's for the VPN. But you're definitely gonna need that RFC 1918 for when you do the firewall rules. We're just creating our IP groups basically in this. This kind of consolidates it, so it's uh, not having to do so much IPs or so much rules every time, so. Yeah, but let's uh, select it. You can call it OpenVPN. You can have to create a new rule, obviously, but you can call it OpenVPN. And you're gonna wanna select type. You're gonna wanna change it to IVP4 or IVP6 if you're using IVP6. And then we're gonna put, um, but it's IVP4, depending on what VPN um, you're using. And this is an IVP4 address. So it's that five network that we're gonna add here. So make sure you, whatever you, your network is, Copy it the same, slash 24, slash 16, slash whatever. And you're gonna add it here. And the reason we put the zero after it means that everything on this five network, that means every device, we just want every device. It encompasses everything. So now we'll get to the point that everybody wants. Let's make the rules. All right. So once you've added that, that's all you gotta do. Open VPN, boom, boom. Add the IP address of your VPN there and we're rocking and rolling. Now we'll go to the VPN, uh, we know we need to go to firewall and rules. Same thing again, when I tell you to copy these down, you're gonna create a new one each time I tell you. We're only gonna have to do two here and you're rocking and rolling again. All rules, I'm just gonna go that for now. And remember, uh, let's go to uh, block. So we're gonna be, it's gonna be a LAN out. So make sure you have it a LAN out because it's leaving the network. We're gonna make it a uh, block VP, open VPN to all, or just make it something that you know, you can copy exactly what I have right there and you'll be fine. This rule uh, is gonna be a drop rule. Keep this the same before uh, predefined rules, a drop. IP4, we're gonna say all, keep going, keep it the same. So the IP port group, we're gonna change it to that. The group we created earlier, that open VPN firewall, you're gonna select that or whatever you named it. Then we're gonna scroll down, and then for the destination, we're gonna make it called RFC 1918. That's why we had to make it, because we're gonna do RFC 1918 to block all, and then you're just gonna hit add, and then that rule's done. Next, what we're gonna need to do is go to, oh, we wanna allow like certain devices through it. It can be anything. So like I always say, static IP addresses, please make them. And you know what's on your network, you know who's on your network. You get better consistent um, speeds a little bit, it, you know, it just makes everything just work way better. 
and for NASs and stuff like that, you have to have them anyway. So it's the smart thing is if the router goes down, it comes back on, you won't, things won't work. They'll get new addresses. So it's important. Uh, so if we make this rule now, you don't have a static IP address. If your router or the power goes out, turns back on, you'll have a different address and then you won't be able to connect to it. So that's why you do a static. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create another new rule. So create another new rule and follow this one. Okay, and this next one is, uh, <laughs> we're gonna do OpenVPN. I'm just giving you an example. It can be your NAS, your printer, your server, whatever you wanna call, whatever device you want. And you can do type. We're gonna do LAN out again, like I said. Oh, this one's OpenVPN to NAS because I want to allow it to the NAS. I'm going to select the port group is the firewall again, and we're going to accept to make sure the accept there because we want to accept this time. We don't want to drop it. And then we want to go to destination and we're going to do an IP address. So we're going to set that to and the IP address of the NAS is that I'm going to hit apply, save, and then we're going to go back and you will be rocking and rolling. The only thing you got to make sure is these little rules here, you can move them down. Remember, you always want the accept before the drop. Otherwise, it'll just drop it all. So you want the accept and then drop all the rest. So that's what you're gonna wanna do. Make sure that the accept is always above the rule here. And if you ever wanna like pause a rule, this is a new feature they added before. There was a little pause button. Now you gotta go to manage and you gotta select the ones you want. And then you can hit pause or whatever, or resume or whatever like that. So that's a new thing they added. Just showing you that was new in 7.5.176. But yeah, hey, I make these videos for you guys. So you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And what I always say, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.